think Melissa is almost the perfect girl. That's great, Jay. We really like her a lot. So do I. We breaking up. <laughs> but we like her. Oh, we do. Yeah. We're not ready to break up with her. Are we breaking up because she's seeing someone else? No. And quite frankly, it's silly, and I don't want to discuss it. Is she a pyromaniac? No. Kleptomaniac? No. Nymphomaniac? Why would that be a bad thing? <laughs> All right, if you guys want to know, I think I like Melissa more than she likes me. Oh, now, what makes you say that? Because she never gets jealous, that's why. Never? Never. How about envious? Does she get envious? They're very close. <laughs> Jay, have you considered that Melissa might be well-adjusted and confident? It's a strong possibility. Well, she doesn't give a damn about you. That's it. <laughs> That's it, right there. just talking about you. Yeah, well, who is it? Well, unfortunately, I can't participate in the firm's bachelor auction. The kid, as they like to say, is at a commission. I love you, baby. <laughs> Counselor, we're gonna miss that $18 your aunt bid on you. It's a charity. It's not about who brings in more money. Sherry's right. She's right. You know what? It's about deserving kids being able to spend a summer at Cuba, and it's about me winning. <laughs> Marcus, how do you win an auction? Oh, well, Jay, I'm glad you asked. You see, I get the highest bid, and I get to date a beautiful woman, and the kids then sculpt my likeness at the top of a totem pole. <laughs> I win. <laughs> right, right. As long as the kids benefit. Well, that's why I do it. <laughs> you smell good. See y'all. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Yeah. Can anybody enter this auction, or is it just restricted to shallow, annoying guys from your firm? Hey, where are you going with this? No, 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 hear me out. I parade the goods, right? If... <laughs> okay, I parade the goods right in front of a room full of single women, and this makes for the perfect opportunity to see if I can make Melissa jealous. It's actually brilliant. Yeah, it is. I'll sponsor you. Mm-hmm. We'll bring in the highest bid, mm -hmm. and the partners will know it's because of me. I am shocked, right? This is a charity event, and all you two can think about is your... What about the kids? Oh, oh yeah, we love kids. Little kids at camp. You know, Melissa, there are going to be a lot of beautiful women bidding on me at this auction, and I don't understand if you're uncomfortable with that. Why would I be? Well, these women, I hear when they pay their money, some of them expect a little more than just conversation. What? You mean sex? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Jay, I trust you. Listen, why don't I make your favorite cafe latte? With the nutmeg? Of course. <laughs> Darn. She'd be perfect if she wasn't so perfect. <laughs> So dark. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Jay, let's go. We gotta prep for the auction. Go where? I got a guy who's gonna slide you into an Armani suit way below retail. Uh -huh. Hey, Melissa. Hi. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, if you wanna get the after hours deal, we gotta go after hours tonight. What is wrong with you? Can't you see I'm in the middle of a date? If I left, Melissa would be very unhappy. Oh, really? Well, why don't you ask her? <laughs> oh, you're calling me out. I'm calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, look, sweetheart, I have to run out, and I can't tell you where I'm going or who I'm meeting. Okay, have fun. I'll stay and clean up. My guy should be here any minute now. What the hell are you doing? 
I'm doing dessert. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. You're in training for the auction. <laughs> Discipline, Jay. I mean, you want to beat Marcus, you got to have that killer instinct. You got to be hungry. I am hungry. That's my pie. It's not that good. The rain falls hard in January. The high holidays are early this year. Mr. Brown? Mr. Blue? Gordon. Yeah. Do you ever do anything like a normal human being? Hey, what's up, man? I'm Jake Oh, Frazier. no, no, uh-uh, oh, oh. Mr. Brown will deal with me and me alone. Gordon, really, I appreciate this, but I'm gainfully employed. I can walk into a real store and buy a real suit. Mr. Brown can get you an Armani for 75 bucks. Oh, call me Mr. Green. Yeah. <laughs> the bagel has been schmeared. came all the way down here just to ask me not to go on, didn't you? No, you kidding? I want to see how much you go for. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Richmond. I'm Gordon Hamill. Right, yeah, um, I work at the office. Could you be more specific? I'm one of your attorneys. Oh, I'm sorry, still not. I'm married to Shari. Oh, of course. Have a seat, Hamill. <laughs> You hear that? Call me Hamill. So, I heard you brought in a real ring this year, Hamill. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. That's twice. I've got to be a partner. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Camp Timberlake's fifth annual bachelor auction for the kids. Oh. Jay, I've got to say, man, I'm really glad you're here. Huh. So you don't mind the competition? Competition? Man, I'm thrilled to be sharing the runway with other smooth, successful bachelors. They should be around any minute. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Let's bring out last year's winner, Marcus Wentworth. Marcus? Great to meet you, Marcus. Either one, you get close. Hi. You know, whenever I take time off from being one of Chicago's busiest lawyers, I usually go to my country place right down the road from Camp Timberlake, where I can hear the kids' laughter. <laughs> That's little Timmy. Uh, All right, so I hear $1,000. Man, I can't believe Marcus. If only they knew the truth about this guy. Marcus, hey. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, I know. You're standing knee-deep in it, brother. Excuse me? Well, well, tell us all, where did you meet? Little Timmy. Well, matter of fact, I met the little shaver while I was saving him from drowning. That is a touchy story. But I have to be honest, I heard a slightly different version of that story. In fact, I happen to have little Timmy right here with me today. <laughs> little Timmy! <laughs> little Timmy, is this the man that saved you from drowning? No. <laughs> Push me off the dock. I, I, I didn't push you. I was trying to teach you the breaststroke. Oh. <laughs> Little Timmy, what else did Marcus here teach you? How to smoke. <laughs> and that is a nasty habit. Tell me about it. I'm the only kid in Little League wearing the patch. Now we'll see who raises the most money. That's right. Going once, going twice, sold for $10,000. New record. Way to go, Marcus. All right. Are you up, Marcus? Hi, Daddy. Mm. Oh, Daddy. I saw the cutest guy, and I think he's in the auction. Now let's bring out internet entrepreneur Jay Frazier. Jay. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm here for a lot of reasons. I'm sorry, running out of time. Okay, let's start the bidding at uh, $5,000. Hello. Wow. Okay, uh, $3,000. That sucks. Okay, 
$1,000. Anyone? Come on, it's for the kids. Kids are crying, people. I need you to stop the bidding. Oh, okay. Oh, $1,000. Excellent. $1,000. Do I hear $1,200? $1,500. $1,500. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Fifteen hundred dollars to the lady, foxy lady, I might add. Hello. All right. Sixteen. Anyone? Sixteen. Sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars. What the hell are you doing? What? I'm bidding on Jay. Yeah, you want to spend time with Jay? You can do it for free at home. Do I have a seventeen hundred dollars? Come on. Seventeen hundred dollars. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I don't want to lose, Daddy. All right, honey, just don't get carried away. $1,700 going once. Going twice. and you don't know who she is? I'm telling you, I have never met that woman in my entire life. Wait a minute. This is a side of you I have never seen before. Could this be jealousy? Of course I'm jealous. I have 15,000 reasons to be jealous. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Wait a minute. You entered this auction to make me jealous? Yes, of course I did. I went into training for this. I gave a pie. I bought an Armani. Come here. Sweet. Jay, 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 man, I am shocked that anybody would enter this contest for any other reason than the kids. That's just cold. <laughs> By the way, that, that's not no money. Oh, and, and what is this? That's an Arnani. <laughs> Forget the suit. <laughs> Melissa, okay, I did not do this just to make you jealous. You just said you did. Okay, forget what I said. I did it for the kids. Making you jealous was just a perk. You again? Yeah, I, I just, I overheard. I, I have to say, Jay, your priorities are out of line, man. Yeah, I look up to you, so this is disappointing me. It's hit me hard. I, I don't think I should drive tonight. You want to catch a cab? I'm going to get my things. M Melissa! She's going to get her things. about this girl what's her name mm, melissa i don't know what to do i'm at a loss i send her balloons chocolates i call her 10 times a day i even sent her a dozen long neck beers <laughs> no response zilch nada you know you call you mm. write mm -hmm. i'm there you camp out in front of their house for hours on end you rifle through their trash you hide out in the bushes i mean all of it just to get a glimpse of them coming out to get the morning paper Well, that's a very creative example of what one could do. But in reality, when do you throw in the towel? Well, I usually wait until they file a restraining order. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> nah, you, you funny. That's a good one. You funny. <laughs> what do you mean? But no, you're the, the restraining order bit. You, you got jokes, you know. You're kidding, right? Oh, what, you think that's funny? The cops, the lawyers, the handcuffs? Well, maybe not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> funny. Hi, it's Melissa. I'm miserable, and I wanted to stop by tonight. Hi, hi. Hi, it's Melissa. I'm miserable, and I wanted to stop by tonight. Ah, she's miserable! I'm a hit! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh... I'm coming, darling. Oh, Veronica. <laughs> what you doing here? Technically. You are still on the clock. Thank you. 
On the clock? No, 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 no. That was a date for hire, for charity, for the kids. I told you, I'm seeing somebody. Jack, hey, okay. I won't be ignored. Girl, what you doing? For 15 grand? I'm doing you. Oh, wait, oh, you in the... Apparently, you didn't get my message. No, 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 I did, I did. Over me. What is that girl doing on top of you? No, no, well, um, w w would you believe that she was giving me CPR? No. Well, um, would you believe she's a chiropractor and she was cracking my back? No. Well, why don't you tell me what you believe in? That's what she was doing. Believe this. No, I'm... A... Mm. Time. I am not going, okay? Of course you're going. You got the top bid, Jay. My boss has to present the check with you there. That man's daughter is crazy. No, I'm serious. The girl is delusional, obsessive. She camps out in front of people's houses. Oh, and you're so perfect? <laughs> Look, I finally got Melissa to return my phone calls, and we're going out tonight. So why would I want to take her anywhere where she might bump in a psycho sister? <laughs> Jay, it's not for me. Oh, it's not for the job. Uh, it's for the... Gordon, Gordon, don't, don't even say it. Don't even say it. It's for the kids. Who are these kids? <laughs> and tell me again why you let her in. I thought she was you. And when did you know it wasn't me? When you walked in? Hey, uh... Can I have everyone's attention, please? Great. My protege, Jay Frazier, brought in the top bid. So come on down here, Jay, for the presentation of your check. Come on, Mr. Ritz is doing it. How about that check? 